Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel, to Biking Roots and to Houston, the mountain biking capital of Southeast Texas. We're here today to talk about a sweet bike. So usually we talk about a little bit more budget friendly bikes, but we do also sell some higher end stuff, which for some people it's needed and important. Um, I actually like them a lot as well. Um, I'm a sucker for some of these bikes, but a lot of you know, and if you've seen some of our previous videos, I had a Forbidden Druid for a while. I love that bike, but had to sell it because the market has slowed down and I needed to free up some cash to pay some bills. So I don't have that bike now. It has an older brother, as you guys know, um, the Dreadnought. So we're gonna talk about the Dreadnought today. All right, so here she is, the Forbidden Dreadnought, which is the bigger, beefier, version of the druid uh, with that high pivot design uh, so yeah this thing is sweet obviously not for everyone this is a big bike uh, 170 millimeters 154 millimeters of travel so it's for people that can do lots of crazy things or maybe you just like a big travel bike nothing wrong with that yes the tire is flat um, because this bike is actually going on a plane tomorrow the customer is coming to pick it up the back held air without sealant but the front is not, so anyway, yeah, ignore that. So the Dreadnought comes in a few different options. You can get just the frame kit in a few different colors, or you can get uh, this one, which is the GX Limited build, uh, or you could go to the GX Axis build, or you get the XO build, the top of the line. So this one is a $62.99 US dollars. Uh, and they have obviously they go up from there if you want to get the axis stuff comes with the new transmission stuff in the back which is pretty neat and I'd love to try someday so they have a few different color options the black stealth which at first I wasn't sure if I would like it as much but I think it's pretty sick uh, it has this matte gray finish on it and this real subtle dreadnought lettering there and then the cool forbidden little dreadnought sticker in the back there which looks cool so you can get it in this or the blue heat color. Uh, they used to have a, the Skittles, they called it, which that color was really cool, but they don't make that one anymore. If they bring it back, I will definitely be tempted to get that one, possibly. As far as wheel sizes, you can do straight 29-29, which is what this one is, or you can get the uh, Ziggy Link, which is you can get back there, which allows you to run a mixed wheel, so 27.5 in the back. If you desire to do a mullet setup, you have that option, which is neat. As far as sizes for the Dreadnought, you go from small all the way up to XL. This is a size medium, which is a good size, which is what I would run uh, being five foot eight. Regarding sizing, one thing that's cool about Forbidden is, yeah, they don't have just like one rear triangle for all the sizes. It's custom for each size, which definitely helps the smaller people and the extra large people to get a bike that fits them well. As far as reach numbers, uh, anywhere from 440 to 506, uh, this one being a medium 29 setup, you're at a 462 millimeter reach. You go in the mixed wheel size, it drops a little bit. So yeah, the uh, Dreadnought has a 63 and a half head tube angle, which more aggressive than the Druid, which I rode. Um, also this down tube is just a lot thicker and beefier. The traditional seat tube uh, that you kind of have on the Druid, and then obviously the cool looking high pivot design on this frame. So you do get a couple mounts. So you have some water bottle mounts here, uh, tool storage, or you can mount tubes and various kits that you can mount to the frame. So up under here, they have a little stash storage compartment for a tube or anything else you wanna hide in here, you can. I think they have it on the Druid too. I can't remember if they did on the V1. If they did, I never used it. And since we're talking about the frame, we'll talk about the suspension with this crazy uh, high pivot. In summary, with this high pivot and with this idler pulley and this funky looking design um, with high pivot bikes, the advantages being that uh, when it goes through the suspension travel, it has more of a linear uh, travel than a vertical travel, which is what a lot of traditional suspension designs do. Why do you want linear? Well, linear travel makes the bike a little bit longer and more stable when you're going through all the rough stuff. So. I can attest, at least on my Druid, that it's the smoothest uh, full suspension bike that I've probably ridden. Yeah, there's a lot of other designs out there too, but yeah, this design definitely works really well. And Connor Fearon, the uh, uh, World Cup downhiller, he actually used this bike. Uh, he had more travel on the front, but he actually raced uh, World Cup downhill with this bike. So 
even with 154 millimeters of travel, which it's a good amount, but not a lot when you're doing downhill stuff, uh, is pretty impressive. As far as spacing, you got 148 millimeters, so boost spacing, none of the super boost stuff. And then you have UDH, which is nice, so you could go to transmission if you wanted to, um, and easily and cheaply replaceable. You have a little fender here. Um, this keeps dirt and rocks getting into your linkage system, which could potentially make a bad day. So they have this to protect it there. And as far as your cable routing goes in through here, up through here. So depending where you live, if you want to do like uh, left hand for the rear brake, you can switch them, which makes it nice. If you want to do that option, you can just swap these. So it's a little bit harder to thread through and hopefully it won't rattle. Um, I don't remember my Druid rattling, so you should be fine on the dreadnought. All right, let's go over the suspension that they spec on this GX uh, Limited. You get the uh, RockShock Zeb Ultimate, which is pretty cool. And yep, it has the Buttercup. So the newest tech that they released, uh, I think it was last year. So I haven't ridden any of the newest RockShock forks, uh, but these are pretty cool. They have a new uh, damper now. So you have your uh, the Charger 3 damper. You have nice solid clicks for your compression and then your low speed and high speed compression adjustments right here. But like Fox, you have your little bleed uh, valves there to uh, when you have any negative pressure built up. Um, I think they're getting sued by Fox for this, but we'll see how that turns out. But for now, you have them on the Zev and uh, I think a few other forks like the Lyric. Rebound is up under here, slow or fast rebound control. I didn't install it because it's going on a plane, but uh, you do have some mounts here also for a uh, fender which makes it nice and clean so you don't have to do like zip ties and stuff and for your shock you get the uh, fox float x2 uh, performance elite if you need to do any serious climbing you can firm it up there and on the performance elite you have your uh, high speed and low speed adjustments for rebound and compression and being the uh, sram gx build you have the gx cranks uh, 165 millimeters so the, uh, the shortest that you have, which is nice, especially as bottom brackets are so low these days. It's nice to have some shorter cranks standard. And you have the E13 uh, idler pulley and your E13 lower chain guide. Keeps things nice and tidy. And in the back you have your GX uh, derailleur with your GX 1052 tooth uh, cassette. And up in the cockpit, uh, they spec'd this one out uh, pretty nicely, I think. They spec'd it out with some BergTech riser bars. You have a BergTech stem. You have a Cane Creek 40 headset. You get some BergTech lock-on grips. Comes with matchmaker uh, standard, so nicely integrated so you don't have the separate clamp. Uh, One-up dropper lever, which feels nice. Then on the right side, you also have your matchmaker uh, GX shifter. Saddle, you have a physique saddle with a one-up dropper post. For brakes, you get the uh, SRAM Code R's, so you have that reach adjustment, but you don't have the uh, the contact adjustment, which I had some Code RSCs on my Druid, and they were pretty sweet. These feel almost as good, you just don't have as quite as many adjustments, but it'll still give you plenty of stopping power for sl uh, slowing down this uh, Dreadnought Beast. So up front, you have the Code 4 piston with the uh, SRAM centerline 200 millimeter rotor, and for the back, Instead of a smaller one, you actually get the same size. So you get 200 millimeter uh, centerline rotor, so lots of stopping power, which you need on a big bike like this. To wrap it up with wheels and tires, this spec came with the uh, Crank Brothers uh, Synthesis Enduro wheel set. So just a Crank Brothers hub uh, in the rear. On the Forbidden website, they mention one-to-one, -one, but also says subject to change. So I guess they had to make a change to go to this wheel set um, instead of the Industry 9 one-to-ones. For tires up front, you have the uh, Asagai 2.5 um, EXO Plus uh, protection tubeless ready. And then in the back, you get the DHR2 29 by 2.4 EXO. Lots of grip. All right, I think I covered everything on this Dreadnought build. What do you guys think of the color? What do you think of this bike? It's a small company, it's unique. Um, they make a heck of a bike. They're just not as well known, and so that's a good thing in some ways. If you want something that you're probably not going to see a ton of. If you're in the Houston area, we don't have any right now, but uh, we can special order them for you. We might have the new Druid coming in the future. Maybe we'll pick up a Dreadnought. It's a little hard for Houston because 
The Druid is perfectly fine for our trails, but I know there are people that may want a bigger travel bike. But all right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you guys are doing well. And if you liked the video, hit the like button for us. Subscribe to Biking Roots if you want to see more from Biking Roots. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.